Hello students, welcome to the IIT JAM 2020 Mathematical Statistics Solution. In this video, we will see how you can solve this question number 19, 9 and 15 in a very simple manner. What is the question number 9 is? You can see there is a related to some identical distribution and some you have to find this distributions are there, which one is follows based on this given conditions. While this question number 15 is related to some area bounded and you have to find the conditions on this alpha as well as on this beta depending upon this paraboloid and the plane. How you can solve these questions? This is the question related to the 15, so it is of the 2 marks. And this is the question number 9, I think this is of the 1 marks are there. So how you can solve this question? Since it is a 1 mark, so you have to provide the 1 minute solutions are there. Since it is a 2 marks are there, so you have to provide maximum of the half one and a half minutes for solving these questions are there. But we will see how you can solve these two questions within a 1 minute so that you will get the enough times in examination. Myself, Dr. Gar, you can simply follow this link for finding the various videos. Now, what is the logic behind is that whenever they are asking about the approximate distribution, what is the meaning of that? It means you have to find basically the mean and basically the variance of this. So you have to find of this. Since they are the IID, what is the meaning of the IID is? That is the mean of the X1, is same as that of the mean of the x2 and so on. So what is that? This is nothing but that you have to think about this term that is x of 2i minus x of 2i minus 1 and i varies from 1 to n. So what is that? If you open this term, what will happen? It will be my x2 minus x1 plus x. If I say x uh, i is equal to 1, then say 2, then 1. If x is 2, then it's my 4 minus of what is that if it's 2 minus 1 is 3 and so on. So what is the meaning of that? Now there is no cancel out. So what you can do is you have to find the mean of this term. Firstly, what is the mean of this term? So I can write this as of x of 2i minus x of 2i minus 1. Since what is the mean of the xi's are given to you 1 and they are iid. So this is 1 minus 1. So that is the mean is 1, 0. So oh, this option correct, this may be correct, this may be correct, this may be correct. Now you have to think about this uh, variance, how you can find the variance of this quantity. So how you can find the variance of x2y minus of x2y minus 1. Variance of x2y, variance can't be negative, so it's always be a positive sign. So here, now how you can find the value of this is, what is the variance of the x size? Again, iid, so this is the 1 plus of 1 that is of my 2. So there is no need to write this 1 by root n because we have to find the approximate distribution. So the mean is 0, variance is 2, which one option is the right answer? This is the only option which is correct one. So that option is discarded, this is discarded, this is discarded. So that is a variance 2, mean is my 0 is the right answer. Look about this next question. This is the question number 15 which is of the 2 marks. So you have to think about this question within a 1 minute how you can solve them. There is no need to solve them. You have to look about this domains are there. So firstly, what is that? This is the domain of the x. This is the range of the x. This is the range of the z and outside that range of the y. So that's a very simple. You have to think only on the y and the z. That's nothing else. So firstly, we have to think about the z. Since x, we already limit them. So you can skip them. So what is that? This is z is from y square to 2 y. What is that? Now what is that? What is the beta of y? y square. So this option may be, may be true. This option cancel out because it's y. This option cancel out because of the y. So option may be of the b or c. Now once we know it's a y square, now you have to think about the uh, range of the y. So y is my 0 to alpha. So you can see it's a positive values are there. Now what is the value of the y? It's quite simple that because y, z is my 2 of y. Z is the maximum value of this. So what is the maximum value of the y from here? Z, the value of the z is my y square. And this is my 2y also. This, this is the limit of this. So what is the maximum value of either the 1 or 2? So that's very simple. You can say z is my 2y. So what is the value of the y are here? Because when, whenever y is my 0 to 2, then only z will becomes my 0 to 4 maximum are there. Because if you take alpha as a 1, that is a y from 0 to 1, but they are not same. But if you take y as a 2, it's a 4, it's again the 4. So it means the right answer is my L y is equal to 2, that is a 0 to 2. Alpha is my 2, that's the right answer. This option also discards something. So this is the way you can uh, think about this MCQ question from your 
objective options are there instead of trying to solve this by integration there is no need to solve that so this is the way you can solve you can get easily get the two marks within a one minutes by thinking of the concept are there i hope you can enjoy this session too we will see uh, we will discuss these two questions in our previous video these two questions are in this video now we will see these various videos in our various question in our next videos till then you can simply follow this link for finding the various videos on the previous here thank you very much best of luck